Hello everyone. Welcome to uh, Kvation Engineering YouTube channel. So uh, today I'm going to teach you the lesson number four under pressurization, uh, AT chapter 21, air conditioning system. So uh, if you still not watch my previous videos, please uh, watch these videos. It will be important for you. And please share these videos with your friends, uh, uh, family, relatives, or someone who like uh, for aircraft maintenance. And uh, if you are a newcomer for this video, I'm Keshara Vikramasinghe, and I'm Sri Lankan, and I'm, a, I'm uh, an aircraft uh, maintenance uh, technician. All right. So, uh, okay. So no need to uh, take more time. Time. all right so let's go to the lesson number four all right so uh today is 80 chapter 21 air conditioning system pressurization lesson number four all right so today i'm going to discuss about ecamp page presentation right ecamp page presentation all right so through this lesson you will identify and interpret symbols of the pressurization system on the press and cruise ecamp page all right okay so the first one is outflow valve outflow valve okay you can see this is the outflow valve sorry all right so uh, in the diagram you can see this is the outflow valve right so the outflow valve position is normally displayed in green okay you can see this is the cabin pressure page this is the outflow valve the outflow valve is normally displayed in green color if fully open in flight if it is fully open in flight it changes to amber okay you can see this is the when operating in normal range it is shown in the green color and when fully operating in flight more than 95 degrees 95 percent it shows in amber color all right okay so the next one safety valves okay i told you in the previous lessons there are two safety valves in the aft uh, compartment right aft bulkhead all right so these are the uh, two safety valves right these are the sense line all right so the safety valve position is displayed in green okay here is the safety valve safety valve position is displayed in green when the two safety valves are closed if the two safety valves are closed it is shows in green it become amber if either safety valve is not closed it means if either uh example it means uh, if one is not closed then it shows in amber right or else if two both are not closed also it shows in amber so you can see this is the safety safety valve here uh, when both uh, fully closed it shows in um, uh, green color and when either one is not closed it shows in amber color all right so this is the safety valves all right so the diagram all right now the system number two system number two right it's come through the controller uh cabin pressure controller cpc2 right so uh the system two indication is displayed in green okay you can see the system uh, number two indication is displayed in green when active and amber when faulty remember this one will shows in green it uh, when it is in active mode and if it is in faulty it shows in amber color it is not displayed when in inactive if the system number two is inactive then uh, it's not displayed all right so you can see this is system number two when active it shows in uh, green and when fault it shows in amber color not displayed when inactive all right so uh okay see the controller number two is come to the motor two right and then it's go to the outflow valve all right okay and the next one is system number one okay this is the system number one it means cpc number one cabin pressure controller number one this goes through the motor one okay i teach you in the previous lessons all right so the system one indication is displayed in green when active okay system one is indication in green when it is inactive amber when faulty and it is not displayed when uh inactive okay you can see this is system one when active it shows in green and when faulty is shows in uh amber color and it is inactive it is not displayed here okay right this is the cabin pressure page okay all right so now let's go to the cabin differential pressure cabin differential pressure this is c you can see delta pressure cabin differential pressure it shows in psi all right so the cabin differential pressure is displayed in green when in normal range okay cabin differential pressure displayed in green when in normal range it changes to amber when out of limit if it is in out of limit it changes into amber color right so the cabin differential pressure 
indicated valves in green when in normal right and the range the amber when less than 0.4 psi or greater than 8.5 psi range is between these right 0.4 uh, psi or uh, less than uh, it means the it means like this this one in shows in amber color if it is less than 0.4 psi or greater than 8.5 psi all right so the pulsing adversary when delta pressure greater than 1.5 psi or greater than 8.5 psi all right okay now let's go to the cabin vertical speed okay this one is vertical speed is calculated by feet per minute all right so the cabin vertical speed is normally displayed in green normally this one is displayed in green it changes to amber when out of normal range right so it is also displayed on the cruise page okay this one can be seen in the cabin pressure page also and also it can be seen in the cruise page also like right? so you can see the lower part of cruise page you can see the cabin vertical speed uh, you can see here in the cruise page also we can see this uh, indication right so the cabin vertical speed indicated valves in green when in normal range uh, and amber when vertical speed greater than 2000 feet per minute up or down okay remember it and the pulsing adversary when vertical speed greater than 1200 feet per minute all right okay next one is manual mode man mode means manual mode so in the manual indication appears in white okay you can see here manual indication appears in white when the manual mode is selected okay when manual if the manual mode is selected then the man indication is appeared in white okay right so the when uh, the mode selector push button is on in manual you can see this man and not on the cruise page the cabin vertical speed indicator changes as shown okay right so uh uh if there's a knot on the cruise page this is the cruise page uh the cabin vertical speed indication cabin vertical speed indication changes as shown right so before i uh before normalist can be seen in like this but if it is in manual mode the cabin uh, vertical speed uh, indication will be changed like this all right okay so now the cabin altitude this one is the cabin altitude okay this is the uh, differential pressure vertical speed and then this is cabin altitude right so the cabin altitude is displayed in green when it is in normal range okay cabin altitude also displayed in green when it is in normal range it changes to red remember it changes to red it excessive it also displayed on the cruise page remember cabin altitude is you can see normal range as green color but if it is in red uh if it is in excessive uh, limits then you can see as in red color so it is also displayed on the cruise page cruise page also you can see this cabin altitude feeds right 6300 uh, 6, feet like this okay so cabin altitude indicated as in green when normal range right so and red when cabin altitude reaches 9550 feet okay remember uh, this one will become red when cabin altitude reaches 9550 feet okay right so the passing adversary when cabin altitude greater than 8800 and 800 feet all right pulsing adversary it means uh, you can see some uh, pulsing like some uh, some kind of uh, message uh when uh, cabin altitude is greater than 8800 feet okay but uh this one will become red if it is reach 9550 feet all right okay now the landing elevations landing elevation you can see this is the landing elevation auto 500 feet right so the landing elevation indicator displayed green and indicated in feet okay landing elevation is displayed in green and also indicated in feet in auto it correspond to the valve selected by the fmgs okay this one auto uh it correspond to the valve selected by the flight management guardian system right in manual it correspond to the values selected by the rotary select right it means uh in auto position the the value selected by the flight management guardian system and in manual mode it correspond to the valves selected by the rotary selector okay this is the cabin pressure controller so landing elevation auto auto mode when the landing elevation select or select or is on auto right so manual when landing elevation select is not on auto and no indication in the mode selector push button is on man okay it means no indication on the mode selector push button is on manual okay man right 
all right so uh, that is the end of this lesson i think uh, you got some good knowledge about ecam indications regarding pressurization so uh, thank you for participating this lesson this is the lesson number 4 and lesson number 5 will be coming soon so uh, the next lesson you will learn about system warnings in pressurization system so i will do this uh, lesson as lesson number 5 uh, under pressurization system so uh, if you still not subscribe my channel please subscribe this channel and uh, please share this video with your friends relatives and someone who like uh, to learn about aircraft maintenance especially abas 8320 uh, 21 19 right now so uh, 3 9 18 uh, so uh, yeah that is the end of this lesson so uh, if you have any questions regarding uh, this lessons you can comment below and i will try to give the answers as soon as possible and also if you have something to tell me about something like uh, if you if if i want to improve something so you can comment below then i will consider about these things all right so again thank you for participating in this lesson and we will meet on next lesson have a good day for all of you